thank you for the opportunity to speak this evening. I'm truly grateful. Um, so uh, from my experience from being involved in both math and English, um, there's been considerably more focus on impacting science, technology, engineering, and mathematics than there has been on impacting literacy. Uh, to be clear, this discussion is not a war against these two fields. Um, um, efforts to strengthen student involvement and achievement in STEM are laudable and should continue. Um, so my goal then is not to counterpose them in adversarial roles, um, but to just advocate for the same level of enthusiasm and I dare say the same level of urgency for literacy as I've seen in STEM and to remind us that literacy has great value. Um, the way we want our kids to become scientists uh, or technological innovators like Steve Jobs is the way that we should also want our kids to be good readers and writers. Um, none of this tonight is shocking, nor is it provocative, um, but even students at the Harvard Graduate School of Education need to be reminded that literacy matters. So why am I talking about literacy? So it's been widely asserted that the achievement gap is in fact a literacy gap. Um, I'm inclined to agree with this assertion. Um, the fact that literacy is truly the building block for the acquisition of knowledge across all content areas gives credence to this idea. Um, up there is a chart of fourth grade um, reading scores, which are largely predictive of graduation rates, high school graduation rates. Um, it is imperative then that literacy instruction begin early and it be explicitly taught across all content areas on a regular basis. Literacy, however, is not simply an end in and unto itself, but is a means to an end. Making strides in literacy leads to greater societal gains overall. So how important is literacy? So I'll start with the obvious. So it's upward mobility, right? So it's better performance in K through 12 and later on college admissions tests, which means educational access, um, which means greater access to scholarships. Um, it's well-written, cohesive cover letters and resumes in today's competitive job market. It's the integration of immigrants, not assimilation, but integration of immigrants who are, many of whom are bilingual, but not necessarily biliterate. Um, it's disrupting the school to prison pipeline. 85% um, of all juveniles who come into contact with the juvenile court system are illiterate. 60% um, of all prison inmates are illiterate. 70% um, have a chance of returning to prison if there are no literacy interventions compared to 16%. Um, um, it's per sorry. It's personal, so it's, uh, it's reading a menu. It's reading a book yourself and being able to read it to your kids. So it's practical. It's comprehending uh, legal documents before signing contracts. Um, and it's recognizing those annoying phishing emails you get from scam artists po posing as Nigerian royalty. Um, it's political. It's deciphering political jargon and becoming an informed voter before casting a vote. Um, too often people vote um, based on sensationalized media and vitriolic, uh, vitriol laden rhetoric uh, from polemicists. It's spiritual, uh, it's accessing religious texts and developing a closer relationship to the divine. Uh, whether your spiritual text is the Bible, the Quran, or uh, Darwin's origin of the species, you should be able to, um, you should have the opportunity to read that. And it's potentially life saving so it's understanding uh, prescription drug labels and related health literature. It's properly filling out medical forms. According to a 2007 report by the American Medical Association, poor health, and poor health literacy is a stronger predictor of a person's health and age, income, employment status, education level, or race. Um, so it's obvious to us how important literacy is. Um, but instead of integrating it into our respective content areas, we just leave it, all the literacy teaching up to the English teachers. Uh, however, I submit that those of us who are educators must all be literacy teachers. Um, I challenge you to find ways to incorporate literacy lessons into your practice, and I do have several ideas on how to do that if it comes up in the panel discussion. <laughs> so to be clear, I'm not um, positing that literacy is a panacea or a cure-all for the issues that plague the education system. However, literacy is essential to every aspect of people's lives, every day of their lives. And increase, increasing the literacy rate is arguably the most crucial step in our joint mission to close the achievement gap. 
So a little bit about me. Um, I'm a linguist, a logophile, a linguophile, a polyglot, former English and philosophy major, and a current LNL student. So it's not without bias that I approach, um, <laughs> a considerable bias that I approach uh, this subject tonight. Um, but don't let that uh, lessen the impact of my argument um, this evening. Thank you. Thank you.